Hey guys, let's talk about markups, which means basically, let's define it. You know, if you're, let's say, you're selling um, shoes or something, well, you don't just sell shoes for what you buy them for. Otherwise, what's the point of having a shoe store? You can't make any money. You're sitting there all day long making nothing. So, markup is basically like you buy a pair of shoes for $20 from the person who makes it and you sell them for $30. Or right? you buy, uh, I don't know, what's something little kids like? Cigarettes. You buy a pack of cigarettes for kids for $2, you sell them for $5, you mark up, make it... I'm just kidding. Okay. Uh, many kids don't smoke anymore, so anyway. Okay, that's markup. That's what you sell, you know, and the magic is about the about a free economy, by the way, is that nobody knows what this should be. You kind of have to just compete with other people because if you mark up too much, people will go somewhere else. And if you mark up too low, you won't make enough money. You'll have a lot of customers but make very little money. And then, so... Uh, competition helps people find the equilibrium, I guess. So, okay. Well, let's talk about markup. You need to memorize this formula. So go ahead and write this down in your notes as you do, you know, whatever your notebooks, you know, still like this. And then boom, 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 you're on 101. That's what you want to write. Selling price, in other words, what you sell it for, equals the purchase price plus the markup. In other words, purchase price is what you buy it for, you, the seller. You sell it for more. So it's what you purchase it for plus whatever you mark it up. And there you go. Now let's do a couple of these examples. And all you need to do is just basically just put these numbers into the formula and sometimes do some little arithmetic. You can use calculators on these because it's just supposed to save you some time here. So anyway, so let's go ahead and use the formula. Selling price equals the purchase price plus the markup. Okay, let's talk about it. The selling price was $48. Okay, well... That makes it nice, right? That means their S is going to be 48. If the markup was 20% of the purchase price, what was the purchase price? In other words, we don't know what this P will be, so there he is our P. The markup is 20% of the purchase price. So instead of writing an M, we're going to write 20% or 0.2 of the purchase price. There you go. Now we can solve this equation, right? Because there's just nothing but P as, an, as a variable, okay? So this is 1P plus 0.2P. It'll give us 1.2P. And that'll be equal to 48. And okay, and if you divide this, of course, you can probably see 48 divided by 12 is 4. But only by 1.2, the answer is 40. So you purchased something for $40 and you sold it for $48. Obviously, the markup then was $8. So that's what, how much you made on that product. Not counting insurance and air conditioning and uh, cost of employees and all that kind of stuff you do. So anyway, all right, let's try another one. The purchase price is $1,800. If the markup is 40% of the selling price, ugh, what was the selling price? Oh, okay. Again, anytime you get confused on these, visualize this first, right? You buy something for $1,800, bucks, right? The markup, whatever you mark it up, is going to be 40% of what you want to sell it for. Let's just say your boss says that's the profit margin we have to make. We have to make 40% on this thing to sell it. You go, okay, I need to figure out what that is. Well, you got the formula, right? Selling price is equal to the purchase pl price plus the markup. Okay, Let's just fill in the blanks. The purchase price is 1800 bucks. There it is. If the markup is 40% of the selling price, so markup is 40% of the selling price. So we have 0.4 of the selling price. I'll make that an S, okay? Well, what was the selling price? Which means we don't know. But we can solve this, right? There's only S's in this equation, so we got it, okay? Don't forget, this is 1S. You're gonna bring 0.4 over, which means you're gonna be doing 1S minus 0.4S equals 1,800. Well, that's gonna give you 0.6S on the left, then 1800, no doubt you recognize that 18 divided by six is three. So we know this is gonna have something with a three in it, right? Well, if you do the arithmetic or you put it in your calculator, the selling price will be $3,000. Now, are we correct? Is, uh, what's the markup then? If we buy it for 1800 and we sell it for 3000, well, it's 3000 minus 1800, right? That's 1200. Is 1200, which is the markup, 40% of the selling price? Well, you can put this over 3000 and go 1200 divided by 3000, 0.4, you got it, it sure is. All right, okay, let's try one more. 
The sports car retailed for $10,368. Cheap sports car. Okay. It's a matchbox car. All right. What was the purchase price if the car had been marked up 8% of the purchase price? Okay. All right. Well, let's do it. The selling price equals the purchase price plus the markup. Okay, so it retailed for $10,360. Now you might say, what is that retail? Uh, that's just what you pay into it in a store. A retail store is a store you walk into and buy things. All right, so you, the consumer, are paying that much. So this looks like this. The selling price is the retail price. All right, what was the purchase price? Which means we don't know. The car was marked up 8% of the purchase price, which means this is going to be 0 0.08, not 0.8, remember. Boom, and there you go. So this will be 1p plus 0.8. I'm just going to flip these. So 1.08p is equal to 10,368. Okay? Do the arithmetic or pop it in the calculator. You'll find out that the purchase price was $9,600. There you go. Okay. All right, and that's uh, percent markups. Okay, try the practice problem. Uh, in your book, so give it a whirl, pause it and try that. Okay, and again, this is your formula, it never changes. Retail means the selling price, 16,295, all right? <clears throat> what was the purchase price? We don't know. If the car had been marked up 25%, so instead of putting M there, you put 0.25, marked at 20% of the purchase price. Boom, and there we go. So we have, that's a one, of course. So we have 16,295 equals 1.25p, okay? Well, we can figure out what is 16,295 divided by 1.25? That would be 13,036. Yeah, you heard it, okay. It was 13,000. That's what the car dealer bought it for. He sold it for 16 grand and some change. So there you go. All right. See you guys next week. Have a good day.